second transaction happened more often than the first transaction, meaning the second transaction we got cash on a cash basis, we got more cash than we did have sales. So you can kind of think as a net, as a net whole, we debited cash and we credited accounts receivable. And on a cash basis, we need to recognize the fact that we, we got cash and therefore we should be uh, recognizing the kind of like the revenue be on the time period that we received the cash. So that's, and the reverse would be, the, the, the other logic would be reversed if accounts receivable went up. That means on a net basis, we did more of the transaction of, we debited, of making sales on account. We debited accounts receivable and credited sales. And uh, therefore we have in net income, we would have in that case, in net income uh, money that we have not yet received because we received it on account we haven't got the money yet. Therefore, if accounts receivable went up, we're gonna have to bring it down, we're gonna have to bring net income down by the change to get it to a cash basis because we haven't yet got that money. So you can kind of think through that logic. I know that can get confusing, but and on a test, I would just have you know your little cheat sheet where you got the increase is gonna bring bring it down and the decrease is gonna bring it up, where you can just kind of remind yourself on all assets, all other assets will be the same. So I'm gonna highlight that and say we found a home for that. Inventory, we're gonna do the same type of analysis. So I'm just gonna write down the same basically thing here. I'm just gonna copy this down, but then I'm gonna make it for inventory. And again, I won't go through the logic again, but you, it's the same rule for all assets. Basically, increase is gonna bring it down, decrease, bring it up. We're gonna use the negative formula to point to that 10, one, which will flip the sign and that will bring up the balance. So inventory uh, went from 257 down to 246 meaning we're going to have to add it back add back the difference to the cap to the net income for the cash flow statement all right i'm going to highlight that we found a home for that then we've got the prepaid expense we're going to have the uh, same idea here so i'm going to copy that down that is also an asset so we're going to do the same same thing i'm going to put negative of that number it's going to flip the sign and once again an, an increase brings it down a decrease makes it go up and what happened, it decreased, therefore it brings up the balance. I'm gonna highlight that, we found a home for that. We're now going to the equipment. Now, when we think about the equipment account, we gotta think, well, where is the equipment gonna go? Is it gonna go to the cash flows from operating, cash flows from investing, cash flows from financing? And when we buy the equipment, you can think about if we purchased more equipment like a new building or, some, or you know, a new forklift, 